Good day to you one and all, it is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. It's Scorchio here, I'm in Perth in Australia. 42 degrees it was when I got off the plane, and uh, that put me in a really, really bad mood. Um, but I'm ready to have my mood lifted by um, a, a music group called Neck Deep. I ain't never heard of them before, but uh, apparently they've got a song called Dumbstruck Dumb F Came out on the 18th of January. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna watch the video and listen to it and go, yeah, all right, then, or not. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna react to it open heartedly. Just walking roads again, again. Perth. Why is it so hot here? Anyway, and yep, well, so many questions. Who are neck deep? Um, neck deep. And why has the video that they've just released got nearly 2 million views already? Who is this? Um, anyway, Neck Deep, apparently they're a, a Welsh pop punk band from Wrexham, formed in 2012. And in 2019, the band embarked on a summer tour with uh, Blink-182 as the opening act, and their fourth album is out later this year. Um, but what is it about pop punk that people actually like, I wonder? Um, because is it just is it pop with uh, with a slightly different aesthetic so you can hear the guitars or is it punk but with sickly sweet melodic stuff so that um, you can sneak it under the radar and you and you don't have to sort of feel bad about your mum knowing that you listen to it or something I don't know um, it's a weird combination though isn't it like if you think about the what the actual disaffected youth of you know what punk actually is supposed to represent and then making that poppy ugh, disgusting anyway maybe it's good i don't know um maybe i'm just too old for that i am too old for that stuff i know that uh, they even use the the hashtag on their videos hashtag generic pop punk <laughs> that's pretty cool actually at least they admit it um do all pop punk songs actually sound the same um but is it is that the point? Is that is that what they're supposed to sound? I mean, yeah, I suppose it is. If it's a genre, then you know, you'd expect things to sound the same, wouldn't you? Um, do they scratch a very particular aural itch? Um, it's not punk. It's not emo. It's not really hard rock. What is it? Um, I'm going to use this song to figure it out because it seems to be hitting the spot for a lot of people. Let's watch it and find out why. Okay. Hey, yeah. Oh, I didn't realise it was a pipes. Mine's interesting. Literal beast. Hi, boys. Hey, how's it going? Um, just five fry-ups, please. Yeah, sure. Take a seat. Oh, there's a drum set in the cafeteria. I mean, essentially, pedal in between G and D. I mean, obviously, it's, it's chugging a lot, and there's a, some sort of slightly discordant stuff happening in there, but really, it's D to G. Can't argue with that, can you? Classic, classic he sounded. I really like who you are. I really like who you are. But I'm a useless I love that drum in there. There's a really, there's a really fast, and the, the flams are super tight um, and consistent as well. That's a really good drummer. Getting right up there, nice high note. I just seen the figures. 1.8 million views in in 12 days. It's insane. I th yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if there's 1.8 million drummers watching this because it's a really great bit of drumming. Okay, and then it kicks off. Okay. 
it all sounds pretty gritty. I don't know if there's a, anything that you sort of describe as a tempo change happening in there, but when it opens up and there's and they start, you know, they stop chugging and they start really piling through the the guitar chords in the chorus. It is a dynamic lift that's totally welcome, and you can you can feel it, you can feel it, sort of building. And these guys are pretty accomplished at this, you know. It's very very poppy, um, which is probably the thing that would put me off ordinarily. But it's just so well played. I mean, the drums and the drumming is really fab. I always think that a band like this without a good drummer is just a complete waste of time. But this is not a complete waste of time because it's a great drummer. See, I like this bit. The dropout's really cool. And there's a, you can feel the sort of... Um, the I don't know, the great, the great, the grit or the great, the the sandpaperiness of his vocal is much more exposed in this dropout section here. I'm, I think I'm a big fan of dropout sections at the moment. I'm enjoying them a lot. And then they've sort of, the emphasis of the, of the way they've mixed the drums there is that I think they've pr probably brought the room mics up a little bit because then it just sounds a bit more, you know, exciting and like you're in a rehearsal space or something. Or a cafeteria. Probably not. Probably wasn't recorded in the cafeteria, was it? They're not really playing those instruments, are they? Are they? <laughs> really abrupt ending as well. All right, that was pretty good. Okay, well, I enjoyed it. I mean, some of the questions I asked earlier, it's impossible to answer it based on that. But in terms of the tempo and, and like, I don't know. There's a bit where it goes, clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. But the double time stuff is just so brilliantly flammed. Like the flams, they definitely occur on one, on either side of what would be the grid kind of thing. It's just, it's really an immaculate piece of punk drumming. Um, it's super poppy. And it's pretty harmless stuff. I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't, it's like punk, but without any of the... What's the word? Attitude? No, not attitude. It's not. That's not fair. Without the dis uh, snottiness hasn't got the snottiness. It's got a lot of sweetness though. I don't know. Use the comment section below to tell me what is this? Why, why is this catching fire? Justin Hawkins writes again. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Watch one of these two videos. Uh, join the mailing list. Come and see me do my live stuff. And uh, tell me what is this punk fascination? Wait, I mean, is it pop punk? Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Because I don't understand pop punk. And I'd love to be able to. All right, nice one, guys. See you later. Okay.